a splendid Saturday afternoon here in downtown Baltimore. Sun shining, much better weather than last night, though the winds are howling through Camden Yards today. Could be an interesting day for pop-ups and fly balls. It's going to be a big weekend of pitching. D.L. Hall's on the mound for Milwaukee. The former Oriole came over in that Corbin Burns trade. 28-year-old Dean Kramer off to a fast start for the Orioles. You see the record. Doesn't have a record yet. 0-0, but a 2.19 ERA. What I love about Dean Kramer this year, only one walk and 11 strikeouts. Look at the opponent's batting average. Outstanding for a starting pitcher. Kramer with a tight cutter to strike out Dunn. And Oliver Dunn retired by Dean Kramer to begin the game. William having a tremendous start to the year. And swings and soars this ball out to center up in the gusts. Pretty easy though for Colton Kowser. Making a start in place of Cedric Mullins today. A ground ball here to shortstop. Gunnar Henderson has free look in his sights for a 1 2 3 inning. An old friend, Dayton Lane Hall, making his third start. First start at Camden Yards. 42 ERA. See nine in the third, four walks and six strikeouts for D.L. Hall. His first pitch of the game is sent soaring into center field by Gunnar Henderson and retrieved there by Blake Perkins. All to a batter he knows oh so well. And Rutschman swings and misses at the changeup. So with a shoe on the other foot here, D.L. Hall strikes out his former catcher. Ryan had his first night off of the year yesterday. 298, 364 on base, and six extra base hits in 12 games. Very good start. And a 3 1 pitch here is Clobber. High, deep, and way, way out of here to left. Well, that, my friends, wind or no wind, that is a long ball right there. 111 off the bat by Mounting. You talk about go up top shelf and get one, too. 15th pitch of the inning. Santander into a push up position. The ultimate back foot, back foot slider. Time called before Jordan Westberg as a napkin got free in the box. One for four with a base hit and a steal last night off Freddie Peralta. It's 2 2 for Westberg. Jordan swings, sends a fly ball out to right center. That's well hit. Up in the wind and out of here. Well, that's a rude awakening for D.L. Hall in what has been an inglorious return for him and a glorious first inning. For his old team, hey, Mount Castle and Westberg with home runs in the span of three batters, and it's 3 0. Swing and a miss. Hall strikes out Hayes and ends the inning. Orioles put up three. And it climbs to three balls at one strike on Reese. The pitch from Kramer. Fly ball out to left. Hayes retreating. Back at the track. Right in front of the wall. He looks up. It is gone. Reese Hoskins goes deep. Hoskins. With his third home run of the season, and the Brewers are on the board. It's three to one, Baltimore. Shot to the left side. How many times we've seen Terang do that in the first two weeks? Oh, that's a thing of beauty, right? Churio, chopper, third base, going to be a tough play. Westberg has it, no chance. Churio beat it out. He even slowed up a bit on his way to first. Just a little bit outside, Perkins works the walk, and the bases are loaded for Oliver Dunn. Seven pits to Dunn. Mm -hmm. And done he is. Kramer into and out of trouble in the second. They haven't been booing. They've been mooing for Colton Kowser the first two days of this homestand. Well, when you're as hot as he is, you've got to keep him in the lineup. Why not? Another base hit plopped into the outfield grass for Colton Kowser and start up the moves. Oh, the milkman. Kowser's on the run. Pitch is down and in. Colton Kowser. Is in there with a steal of second, his second stolen base of the year. Gunnar Henderson first pitch fly out against DL. Henderson drills one up the middle. That's a base hit, and Kowser, after stealing second, will score easily. So the only two lefties in the lineup, Colton Kowser and Gunnar Henderson, pick up hits off the lefty DL Hall, and the lead is back to three. At the middle of the order coming up for the Brewers, starting with Contreras. Fly to center his first time. That one right off of the almost the head and then off the glove of Mateo and it's going to end up with Contreras up at first base. There's a lot going on in that place. Stretch on the one two pitch. Swing and a little pop into shallow right. That ball's got eyes. It's falling in for a base hit. Tying run at the plate. Broken bat. Shallow right. Coming on. Santander dives. Can't make the play. The bases will be loaded as Jason Lane holds up William Contreras. Now bases loaded. Nobody out for Bowers. Ground ball on the infield. 
They'll get one, and that is all. Second and third, a run in for the Brewers, an RBI ground out. Hoskins homered last inning, the 0 1. Line drive, left field, that's a base hit. In from third comes free, like it's bobbled and left by Hayes, and here comes the tying run of the plate, Adamas, and he will score without a throw. The RBI single for Reese Hoskins. Rutschman 0 for 1 this afternoon. Rutschman now 13 for 49 to start the year with a couple of doubles. Change up hit high in the air out to left center field. Backing up Perkins, getting to the wall. He leaps and it's gone! Adley Rutschman's first of the season slips over the wall and into the bullpen. Baltimore is back on top. The third home run for the Orioles this afternoon. Adley Rutschman starts the third with a bang. And a single for Austin Hayes loads him up for Colton Kowser, the hottest hitter in the Baltimore lineup at the plate right now. Popped him up on the left side of the infield. That's a great pitch and a call by Dunn on the outfield grass. Brewers third baseman makes the catch. Set at the belt is Hall, the 1-1 pitch. Swing and a ground ball towards the middle, but a play for Adamas. He's got it on the second hop, short flip to second for a force out that ends the inning. Good job getting tough there by D.L. Hall. Dunn has struck out twice. Those are the only two punch outs that Kramer has. Dunn with a drive to right field, and it is off the top of the fence. Dunn digging into second base with a one-out double. Tying run at second, only one out for William Contreras here in the fourth. Dunn good speed at second, the 1-1. Line drive up the middle and into center for a base hit. Dunn is rounding third. He's coming on in, and Kouser's throw is going to be cut off. We're tied again. William Contreras delivers an RBI knock, and it's 5-5 five five in the fourth inning. The runs just keep coming fast and furious. The 1-1 pitch. Ground ball back up the middle. Willie's got himself a base hit under the glove of the diving Mateo. Stopping at second is Contreras. Two on with two out. Jake Bowers with a go-ahead RBI opportunity here. High fly deep into right field. Can the wind push it back? All the way to the wall. Santander, see you later. Three-run home run riding the jet stream. Jake Bowers. It's his first as a Milwaukee Brewer, and it's a big one. A four-run fourth. Milwaukee's in front, eight to five. As Jorge Mateo lobs one in front of a frozen Freelich for a leadoff base hit. The 1-1 one -one to Henderson. Swing and a ground ball. Smothered by the first baseman. Bowers goes to second from his knees, and he gets it to Adamas for a force out. What a play by Jake Bowers. Diving to his right. He got it cleanly, and he gets a force out. Here comes Pat Murphy. Elvis Piguero has been warming up for a few moments in the bullpen, and he's going to make a pitching change. So D.L. Hall ends up going three and a third innings in his return to Camden Yards. The 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. 98-mile-an-hour sinker. What an entrance by Elvis Piguero. That was dominant against one of the league's better hitters. Piguero's 1-1 pitch. Swing and a ground ball to first. Bowers has it behind the bag in the breadbasket. He will take it himself. Three unassisted out, and the inning is over. There you go. There's the first zero of the game put up by Brewers pitching. It comes in the home fourth. Big first out for Piguero. You say an 8-5 to five lead, and that feels somewhat comfortable, but that feels like a half-run lead lead today one two pitch got him looking fastball right at the knees Kowser strikes out and there's two down now for James McCann oh two pitch popped him up shallow center Terang is racing out there he's underneath of it and makes the catch and the inning is over Ryan Hudson is on for the Brewers he's only given up one earned run so far in this early season Oh, two swing and a miss breaking ball for Brian Hudson to start up his outing here in the bottom of the sixth one away for Gunnar Henderson got him 92 on the corner back to back K's for Hudson 2 0 pitch lined out towards center but in the tracks of Perkins backing up a couple of steps to his right makes the catch Yeah, JB through last night 10 pitches in one inning of work this is three out of four now for JB. Bukowskis with a 2-2. Fastball nailed the outside corner. He struck him out. Beauty right on the black, exactly where Contreras had set up the glove. He hit the target. Made a lot of sense to call on Hobie here. That's exactly what he'll do. So we've got a pitching change. Three and two on Colton Kowser. Here comes. Swing ground ball softly hit to second. Bryce Terang's got it cleanly in the throw to first in time to end the inning. Hobie Milner gets his job done. But now the Brewers have a walk and a hit batter. They've got first and second. And one out 
And Sal Freelich coming to the plate. There's a shot to left center, a base hit for Freelich. Ortiz comes around to score. Contreras digging for third. It's a double for Sal Freelich. Brewers out again. Infield in for Willie Adamas. In the 0 2. Line down the left field line. That's a base hit for Willie Adamas. Contreras will score. Motoring around third is Freelich. He is in there standing up. The throw goes to second. Adamas in there with a slide. It's a two run double. And the Brewers have broken this game open. It's 11 to 5 Milwaukee. Bottom of the eighth inning and Hobie Milner stays out there on the mound for the crew. The pitch. Got him looking. Curveball caught the outside corner. And now the lefty Gunnar Henderson will be the batter. Shot down to third. Another smooth play by Joey Ortiz. And that's the way it's gone here in the late innings. No hits in an inning for the first time for the O's today. So now they give the baseball to Yoel Piams trying to put the finishing touches on the Orioles. To center field. Perkins has a bead on it. Secures it. And the Brewers with another 11 run output. Shut down the Orioles 11 5 today. Another impressive appearance from the Brewers offense.